Uh, my name is Leanne Janison. I do research at East Coast Fund Management. And we develop innovative, profitable fund management products for people. And stocks go up and down and we think we can identify certain patterns that reproduce themselves. We trade those stocks and capture those patterns to earn an above market return. I have a PhD in uh, particle physics. I was really interested in the topic as a high school student, not really knowing where it was going to go, but I wanted to travel and go out and see the world, and so I did my undergraduate in Calgary as a particle accelerator in Vancouver, and I did my master's at UVic, and went on to do my PhD with Carleton University in Ottawa, and that experiment was at CERN in Geneva. So it was very exciting. I got to live in France and uh, work at CERN, which is a pretty amazing place to be. I think physics is really the job for the curious. If you're interested in how things work, if you're interested in why things are the way they are, that's what led me through to physics. I would also say that's what led me out of physics because once I got there, I was still curious. But now I'm curious about people and about business. By the time I was Nearing the end of my PhD, I realized I don't really want the standard academic profession. I still wanted to see the world, I still wanted to learn things, still had a lot of curiosity. And I saw this newspaper article and it said, wanted PhDs in quantitative disciplines, no experience in finance required. I said, well, that's me. I have no experience in finance. I don't know anything about it. And I got the job. That started my career in uh, the capital markets. There's this intellectual discipline of saying, there's something we don't understand. We build a model of it, put everything that we know into this model, and then see if that agrees with the world. That's the discipline of physics, and that is really applicable to any problem at all. So, you know, climate change, well, there's a physical system, all problems. The very specific skills that I learned in terms of modeling, analyzing a problem, that's what it allowed me to make all these transitions. From 2009 until last year, I became a full-time ceramic artist. If I really look at my ceramic work I produce, it comes from the same place. I'm very interested in building models of the world. So I have a whole line of functional wear, which I call Luna wear, which is models of the moon. It's this act of creating a model, slicing it, recombining it, to bring it into everyday life. I'm still a physicist at heart. It feeds the big curiosity and gives you concrete, marketable, versatile skills.